What I'm going to show you today is my carbon arc torch. This is really old technology. Apparently it dates pre-World War II era. So it's pretty old. It's rarely used nowadays. There's a lot more modern stuff out there to do the same job. So basically I've got it hooked up to my uh, AC225 Lincoln electric welder. And the wires basically just connect to the positive of the welder and the negative wire. So that's how it's powered. So you just put your rods into these holes here, one for each side. They're just copper coated carbon rods. You can buy these at your welding store. And the way this thing works is you put your thumb here. First of all, you hold it like that, face down, and with your thumb, when you move it, you bring the two rods together. So even if you're left-handed or right-handed, it's going to work. You don't want to technically touch them together when the power's on. You just want to get close enough to produce a small flame. So I'm going to demonstrate that, and I'm going to show you as well what it can do. I use it for heating metal, especially taking off uh, rusted nuts off of exhaust systems and also for brazing gas tanks. So you're going to need your gloves for this and your welding hat. It's got a pretty strong flame so you don't want to wreck your eyes. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set the temperature at 105 and then turn the beast on. So I'll just give you a quick demonstration of just how these things work and then after that I'll heat a piece of metal and show you that as well. So I'm going to put my mask down. So that's it. It's pretty loud, but that's the flame you use to heat up whatever you're doing. So I'm just going to demonstrate to you how quickly you can heat up some metal with this. So I'm going to heat up this piece of metal here. You can see how quickly you can actually heat up something red hot. I could actually see little puddles there. The metal was starting to melt a bit. So the thing with this torch is that the flame is a lot hotter than your average propane flame. It's similar to acetylene, just you can't control it as good. The tip is big, it's huge. So, you know, it gets out of a jam. They stay bright for a while. 